These are five really mind-blowing ways that you can use AI to help you grow on YouTube. You gotta just press record. And the first way to use AI is to come up with video ideas. And there's actually a few different ways that you can do this. First one we're gonna talk about is ChatGPT. And you can start coming up with YouTube video ideas super fast and super easily. All you need to do is type into the chat, give me 10 YouTube video ideas for a fitness and workout channel. And you're gonna hit enter. Give it literally just a few seconds and it's gonna start typing away and giving you YouTube video ideas. And just like that, you can see it gave me 10 YouTube video ideas listed out all numbered and their ideas. So the top one says a series of workout challenges such as a 30 day push up or plank challenge. And because ChatGPT remembers the conversation that you have, you can just ask it to include titles with these and it knows what you're talking about. And you can see right here, it's now giving me some titles to go with these video ideas. One of the best tips though for using this when coming up with ideas is to be as specific as possible. So I'm gonna ask it to give me YouTube video ideas about how to get a six pack because maybe I just think this would be a great video on uh, the fitness channel that I theoretically have. And here you go, it's gonna start giving you some ideas. So the five minute ab workout for a six pack, the truth about getting a six pack, myths versus reality. These are all really good ideas. Another great way to come up with video ideas that are tailored to your specific YouTube channel is using vidIQ. And vidIQ is the sponsor of today's video that I'll be talking about later. All you need to do is go to vidIQ.com and at the dashboard, you're gonna see at the top here, daily ideas. And the best thing about this is the more you use it because of the AI, the better it's going to give you these ideas for your channel. So if you wanna upgrade to the boost plan so you can have up to 50 different ideas, you can actually get started with just $1 for your first month by using vidIQ dot com forward slash think. And I recommend just trying that boost plan for the first month for a dollar and you are going to love just coming up with all these ideas and all the different stuff that you can do with vidIQ that I'm gonna talk about later in this video. But let's get started. You can see it has some videos like I spent $10,000 on this insane new YouTube studio setup. I asked ChatGPT for video ideas for a week. So I like this idea I would definitely consider making. I also like that YouTubers don't make this mistake. Pretty interesting. I like the title idea, so I'm gonna add that so I can save it for later. And so this is one of my favorite ways to come up with video ideas when I'm just feeling stuck and I don't know what to make videos about. Now, another tool that you can use to come up with ideas is a brand new tool that vidIQ has just released. It's kind of in this beta phase. So this is an early preview of their AI coach, which is free to all vidIQ users, but eventually this is going to be something you will probably have to pay for. So I recommend trying this out. And this is such a cool feature that they've added. It's very similar to chat GPT, but it's more personalized for your channel. We can see some of the prompts right here. So we're gonna say, give me five videos video ideas about, let's say making an espresso. Then I'm gonna hit send and it is going to load the AI coach and here we go. Sure thing, here are five video ideas about making espresso at home. These are great video ideas and I just love how fast I'm able to get these. Now the second way to use AI is to come up with video titles. And so while we're here still in the AI coach, I'm gonna ask for this AI to give me some new titles. Very similarly to ChatGPT, it's going to remember the conversation we had. And so I asked it to give me some titles for those ideas. And here we go. You can see these are really good titles, but let's say we know which video we want to go with. Let's say we want to do uh, number two, which is essentials for making espresso at home. So I'm going to ask it to give me five more titles for the second idea. And just like that, it's given me five different titles that I can look at and decide which one is the best one to go with my YouTube video. Another really cool feature you can use when trying to come up with titles is the AI title recommendations on vidIQ.com. So I'm going to go ahead and put in how to get views on YouTube, and then we're going to select get title ideas. And just like that, it's going to pop up five different title ideas based on the keyword that you're going for. The third way to use AI is to come up with your descriptions and tags for your YouTube videos. So back on the AI coach, you can see down here, there's already a prompt for write me a description for a video about, and then you can fill in the blank and it's just going to give you a description based on what it is you're talking about. So I told the AI coach that I was making a video about how to make money online. And I like that it's actually 
asking for some more details. It says, are you looking for a general description about how to make money online or something more specific? So now it's asking if I'm looking for an example of what the description might look like or help crafting the words for the description. And I'm gonna say crafting the words. I just want it to fully type it out for me. So I don't even have to worry about it. And just like that, we get a description. We can go ahead, we can copy this and we can paste that right into the description on our YouTube video. And an awesome thing is all this stuff is also in the back end of YouTube when you have have vidIQ installed in your browser. You can see that the AI description generator is right here and this is on uh, the YouTube studio. You can basically just do it all in here. So you don't need to go from vidIQ.com to YouTube. It's all just implemented right inside of the studio. And then if you scroll down to the tag section, they're gonna use AI to help come up with recommended tags. And all you need to do is click this plus button, you know, making sure that it actually makes sense for the video. And then that is going to add it into the tags for you. So let's get into the fourth way, which might be my favorite, maybe besides the fifth way. And this is to come up with video scripts and research. This is gonna save you so much time. So let's just jump right into this. All you need to do is type in, write me a YouTube video script about, and then from here, you are gonna put in the title and maybe explain what that video is about. And then it's gonna completely just write you a script. I'm not even gonna give it a ton of information. I just copied the title that I like the most. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. My favorite thing about this AI is that you can actually ask it to change it up. So for example, let's say you're reading it through and we want it to be more chatty or more casual, or maybe like you're just talking to a friend. You can give those prompts to the AI and it is going to rewrite it in that way. So I'm gonna ask it to rewrite this in a more casual way, like I'm talking to a friend and it just goes ahead and starts rewriting it just like that. You guys definitely need to try this for yourself because it does actually a really good job of writing a YouTube video script. It's not something I'd wanna start filming right away. I definitely make some adjustments in the script, but the fact that it can give you all of this right away saves you so much time. So you can just go through, kind of modify it in the ways that you would like, and then you can shoot your YouTube video. VidIQ's AI coach can also do this. You have the prompt here, write me a script for a YouTube video about, you'll fill in the blanks, hit send, and it's gonna write a script for you. For number five, it takes forever to write out captions and to edit those onto your video, but you can actually use AI to read through all of the audio waveforms and hear what you're saying and then just type those out for you. One of my favorite ways is to use the Descript app. If you want a free version, you could use something like CapCut or Captions, and I've used these in the past, and they're gonna get you like 90 to 95% of the way there. Sometimes there are some errors in what you're saying and you just go in, you can edit those. And this is a must if you are creating YouTube shorts. And if you want to check out that video where I share how I use YouTube shorts to go from zero to a thousand subscribers in just nine days, click on the screen. I'll see you guys in the next video.